Hello, I'm going to do the Cancer Capricorn Connection for April. And this is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with you. We're going to pull some Romance Angels and see what connects the two of you. We're going to put that right down the middle. Then we are going to pull some tarot for each sign. We're going to get some clarifiers and then close out with a oracle card from the universe to see what it has to say. All right. Also, you have the power to change my life for the better just by liking, subscribing, and watching my video all the way through. Even if you just want to pop it off, pop it on in the background, I greatly appreciate that and thank you so much. All right. So we have forgive, forgiving and learning, release your ex and soulmate. So I feel like maybe between the two of you, one of you is holding on to your ex and you feel like this is the person that you're supposed to be with, but you're still holding on to some, some energy from your ex. I almost feel like the other person may have to, you know, forgive that person for holding on to their ex because it was sort of a process that that person needed to go through and they just hadn't done that yet. It says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And that's what I feel is the overall message for this, is that releasing your past helps you to enjoy things more in the present. And this person is here for you to move forward and show you how you can be loved, how the right way to be loved, to have a partner, to have someone who looks out for you, who somebody, who somebody who wants to see you succeed and has your best interest at heart. And that's what a so I feel that a soulmate really does, is they really look out for you through the good times and the bad times. They're there when things get rough. They're there to celebrate when things are good. You know, they understand that, yes, relationships can be tough at times, but I'm still going to be there. I'm not going to leave you because of this one little glitch. We have Page of Wands. We have the, uh, the Devil. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Page of Cups. We have the Hierophant the King of Wands, and then we have the Empress. All right. Now let's pick some for Capricorn. So Cancer definitely has Capricorn on their mind. I feel like Cancer wants to reach out to Capricorn and let them know that, yes, I'm here for you. Like they're trying to keep that connection open and they feel very positive about it. I definitely feel like Cancer reaches out to Capricorn because we have the Page of Cups and then we have the Page of Wands and those are young messengers. So sending that message to Capricorn. All right, we have the King of Wands again. So you both have King of Wands. I feel like you both feel passionate about each other. Um, we have Seven of Cups. We have the Seven of Wands. I feel like Capricorn is the one that's sort of holding on to the X energy. Five of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I definitely feel that Capricorn is the one that's feeling off. And I see this cup here, and I feel like that cup is from... Um, the can cancer sign. We have the queen of, it's hard to get all of this in here. The queen of swords, yay, the ten of cups and the tower, yeah. That's what I was feeling is that Capricorn is the one with the work to do. Capricorn is the one that has to release some energy. Um, Cancer is the one that's reaching out to Capricorn to say that I'm here for you. 
um, I'm going to support you. Um, I'm going to try and not say um as much because I was listening to my video and I was driving myself crazy with the um word. Um and like. So I'm going to try and work on that. <laughs> Capricorn's got some work to do and they have energy that they're holding on to. I'm focusing on this cup right there sort of with that. It's almost like the, it's going to sound silly, but it's like the ghost of Christmas past. It's like listening to, uh, holding on to energy from the past and focusing your energy on that it's a breakup that you had that you're still holding on to and you have to rebuild I also feel that it's about your energy and you rebuilding yourself and you not holding on to negative things that happened and releasing those sooner I feel that Cancer is here to help you with that. Um, you both have the King of Wands. And you both are ready for igniting that energy and that direction and that passion. There is a connection with, like Capricorn does feel a connection with Cancer. But Capricorn still got energy that they have to work through. And Capricorn may be the one that has the forgiving and learning. They have to forgive themselves. Maybe they feel that they made a bad choice in the past. And they have to forgive themselves for that. Because they didn't see that at the time. They were working through, they were making the best choices that they could. You were making the best choices that you could at the time. And you thought you were headed in the right direction. And you thought you were making the right choices. But as time went on, you saw that things were not going to work out the way that you thought. And you can forgive yourself for that because that was a learning experience. And forgiving yourself for if you feel you made bad choices. And to rebuild yourself to this happy, safe place that you can get to. You have the Ten of Pentacles and you have the Ten of Cups. And you can get there. And Cancer is going to help you get there. It's okay to open that door and trust someone else. They are not all going to be like this relationship that you had. And Cancer will help you to feel more alive, to feel more passionate. We have the Ace of Cups, a new relationship, a new beginning. I feel that it's twofold. It's twofold in the respect that it's a new relationship with yourself because you're feeling confident, you're forgiving yourself, you're learning, you're feeling stronger, and it's a new relationship with Cancer. Um, the Cancer sign doesn't necessarily mean, I don't feel that it um, has to be their sun sign, it could be their rising sign, it could be their moon sign, it could be somewhere strongly in their chart. It could just be they take on a lot of qualities of that sign. I don't feel that it has to be directly that. All right, so for the Seven of Cups, we have the Six of Wands. And that is about sharing. Sharing your emotions and letting that, opening that door for Cancer to come in and to show you that they're there to support you. It's about making those decisions that are best for yourself, moving forward and in the future, making those decisions that are best for yourself. Yes, you may make a wrong decision. Nobody makes a, the right decisions 100% of the time. But when you make something that you feel was not 
was a wrong decision for you, that you forgive yourself and you learn from that and you make different decisions in the in the future. For Five of Swords, we have the Queen of Wands. I feel like she's saying, you know what, if people want to talk behind my back, I really don't care. You can go ahead and talk all you want because I am strong and I'm not going to let you get to me. <laughs> I love her face. She's just like, I'm not taking anything from anybody <laughs> and that's what you need to embody and that's what you need to embrace those negative people that may be saying things behind your back um, don't let don't give them your power and maybe that's what you were doing is you were giving them your power you were giving them your energy you were letting them creep into your head and take up space you know don't let them do that anymore we have Ten of Pentacles, and we have the Queen of Cups. I feel like she's more victorious. She's like, yes, like I'm going to pull through this. I'm going to do this. She's got her cup up in the air. She's chilling. She's relaxing on the beach. And she's enjoying the fruits of her labor, of her having gotten through this difficult time. This opportunity is coming in for you. This may be a friend. When I see this card, um, I feel, oh, I did an elm. <laughs> I feel that it represents sharing good times with a friend, just enjoying that ice cream sundae. And cancer may be a friend that you can rely on. And I have a feeling that it's going to turn into something bigger and something stronger. But right now you need that friend to rely on. The Queen of Swords is somebody who's gotten through D difficult times and w you have the tower on top of the queen of swords the tower again there is a lot that you have to work through capricorn there is a lot that you have to um you have to push through that you have to let go of but you can rebuild um and just push all that away and you can do it we've got ten of cups and we have the ace of pentacles aces are new beginnings having that new beginning on top of the the ten of cups i think that's that just says it all right there is starting fresh and thinking positive the tower we have the seven of wands and sticking up for yourself working on you doing what's right for you and not letting those negative people into your headspace for Cancer, we have Page of Wands and we have Six of Pentacles. And it's about sharing. You want to share with Capricorn. You want to reach out. I definitely feel like this Cancer sign wants to reach out to Capricorn, wants to show that they're going to be there. For the Devil card, we have the Five of Swords. Um, maybe other people are saying to you, don't reach out to Capricorn because Capricorn you know they're saying all of these negative things about it and you're like no like i'm not gonna let you get to me i'm gonna do what i want to do nine of cups is your wish card four of swords taking that time for yourself to f to imagine yourself um being where you want to be and imagine yourself you know like having that vision board that's what i was trying to say is having that vision board of what you want to have happen Three of Wands, moving forward, Page of Swords. You have Page of Swords. Oh no, that one didn't come out. This is a little delayed. Page of Swords is a little delayed because Capricorn is still working on some things, but I feel that you are going to be there to support Capricorn. Eight of Pentacles is a, is a new way of doing things. It could be a new job opportunity, so maybe you meet Capricorn at a new job that you have or at your job. We have Justice, and this... Um, represents um, having balance in your relationship but I feel like it may be a little off just because Capricorn has things that they're going to work on but I do feel that it's going to balance out and be you know something that the two of you can work on page of cups and the three of wands taking those steps to reach out he's kind of standing here looking at his clock and thinking about things so I feel like right now things are at a little bit of a standstill but I do feel things are going to move forward for you Hierophant um, and then we have the Knight of Wands that's that's what I was feeling is that moving forward that's exactly what I was 
talking here, I was seeing this card of that forward movement. Um, when you feel the time is right, you'll know what it is and when it is to reach out to Capricorn to show them that you are here. Um, taking that time, you have the Hierophant again, um, taking that time to do it when you're ready. And this represent, I feel like this represents you as being that good friend for Capricorn that Capricorn can rely on. And then we have the Empress and she represents romance. Um, she represents growth and fertility. Three of Cups, celebrating, celebrating the growth of the two of you. you. You two have a lot of growth coming ahead of you, a lot of learning, but I feel that it's very positive because I feel like it's gonna be such a strong connection between the two of you because you are supporting each other. And right now, it's Capricorn needs support and Ca Cancer is there to help. And who knows, in the future, Cancer may need some support and Capricorn will be there because Capricorn is like, well, you were there for me and I'm going to be there for you. And that's what I feel like a soulmate connection is. All right, so let's pull a romance angel to close it out. No, did I say romance angel? A romance card. I can't remember the exact name of these cards. I have to pull it out. Kind of feeling like maybe these two. All right, we have deep in your heart, you already know the answer, do what feels right. And then we have acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. So, like I said, for Capricorn, forgiving yourself for things that maybe you feel, you know, you should have done differently in the past, but that was a learning experience for you, and to not beat yourself up about that, and I feel Cancer knows that deep in the heart, in your heart, that you feel that Capricorn is the right one for you, and right now it's a little delayed, but you feel that this is your soulmate, and this is the person that you want to stick with through the good times and the bad. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.